kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Williams fields it at the 17. He's tackled at the 26. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. It up the middle for a nice run. That's a that brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 31. And off to the right. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Williams gains about four yards on the play. from their own 44-yard line. Second down. Here they come. Dives for extra yardage. I doubt anybody will ever mistake this guy for a tailback, but he didn't look too bad running the ball there. They run straight, run down quickly. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. And he's level at the 49. to go long and does. And he holds in the deep pass. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. on the extra point. A seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. That can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. Across the 30, and he's taken down at the 36. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He has some room. He's at midfield. Brought down around the 41-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From the 41-yard line, first down. Caught him, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Don't 
Dumps it out left to the running back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick. Hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. They'll bring him down around the 18-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That makes it second and eight. From their own 18-yard line. Second down. Complete, he's out of bounds. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30. Tackle at the 40-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. duel in that low scoring first quarter. The Wildcats lead 7 0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Marcus to punt. And here's the wait a minute, the upbacks guy. And down he goes at the 45 yard line. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Now he tries to buy some time, and they got it. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 30. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That'll bring up second and three. Yeah. 
Got an opening. Touchdown. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. So that's a five-play, 45-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Williams takes it to 14. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes his way to about the 38. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Makes it to the 41. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. They're about four yards away here on third down. to his receiver in a hurry. Excellent open field tackle. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Here's the halfback. The Wildcats use their second timeout. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 13. Give to the tailback. He's tackled at the 10. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Scrambling around. And he can't get away from the pressure. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Trying to take the lead by a field goal.
Kicks away, and it's Putsy uprights. Marcus looks ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Throws it to the outside. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Steps out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. complete and taken down immediately it's fourth down it looks like they're going to try for the long field goal if he hits this we're all tied up kicks up and it's good we've played a half and a 10-10 tie in this game. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Locked up on the scoreboard at halftime and not really much separation in terms of who's had momentum in the game either, David. It seems as if every move one team's made has been countered by the other. Yeah, tick for tack. You score, I score. You hold, I hold. And, you know, this is, uh, this is two great teams going at it. And that's what's – it's always fun to see the chess match go back and forth. And, you know, the uh, momentum swing one way and all of a sudden swing back the other way. But very rarely do you see it go back and forth, back and forth. And now we got it all gridlocked at the half. And it's a good ball game. And it's going to be fun to watch in the second half. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game. We're set to resume play. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. The 50. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown! He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He's tackled at the 29. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And off to the left. Nice run there. Williams gains about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. Go. 
He has some room. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of five on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Two down, two down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Set. Down. Two, four, two. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Marcus is the punter. He's out to the 30. That was a huge special teams play. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Play action. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down to the ground. From the 38-yard line, first down. his man on the screen and he's taken down at the 38 so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield he's at the 20 brought down at about the nine yard line First and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a of four yards. That brings up second and goal. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it third and goal. From the one yard line, third down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Of Lyman just pancaked the defense on that one. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Wide receiver screen play. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 36-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. He's 
on the run. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. He scrambled. And they make the stop at the 45. That's a GD. Marcus awaits the snap. Brought down at the 28-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's brought down in the open field. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Tackled after decent pickup. That'll make it third and eight. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. The score here in Denton is the Lions 24, the Wildcats 10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. made at the 49-yard line. That's a first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. They go right and he's tackled behind the line. Tries to buy some time. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They'll line it up again on third down. Complete. He's got room. And they push him out around the 23-yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. Man, that is just inexcusable. to the tight end and that falls incomplete you know sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying throw it throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm stepping and throwing and that time he aimed the ball and it was incomplete that makes it first and goal First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Man left, man left. I got one, I got one, I got one. I got number 18, I got you. Eight. Big opening, and he's in there. Touchdown. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. Hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. 
He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. And a quick throw. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. They must have seen something in the defense because that was the exact same play as the one they ran before. Exactly the same play. The defense better make some adjustments because right now there's a mismatch that the offense has taken advantage of. And he hits him hard at the 47. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, third down. And he's hit immediately. the 34 yard line second down caught open field Tenth play of the drive. Just over a minute left. Caught out of the open. Knocked out of bounds around the 12 yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 12 yard line. Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. Brought down at the nine-yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. Gets it out quickly. And he shoved out of bounds right around the six-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Receiver dropped it incomplete. Parks is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. He 
splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 14-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. We have less than a minute to go. He's at the 20, inside the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 42. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. Under a minute left. Wildcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From their own 41 yard line, it's second down. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Fourth and long here after the sack. Marcus to punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 38-17. So that wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.